What's going on guys? It's Taylor with Apex Hosting and today let's go over everything you need to know about the cyclic Minecraft mod. Cyclic is a mod that's going to introduce you to creating machines, useful items with abilities, stronger armor, weapons, tools, and more. There's no new ores or changes to the Minecraft world, making this the perfect mod for anyone just looking for an enhanced version of the vanilla game. Before we get into what you can do, let's go over how to install it. First, you're going to head to Cyclic on Cursed Forge and click Files at the top, and then scroll down and find your desired game version, and click Download File to the right-hand side. Save this file somewhere easy to get to, and then you're going to do the exact same thing for the matching version of Flib since it's a required dependency. Next, if you're wanting to use a beginner's book in-game to help you learn more about the mod, then you can also install Patchouli if you're using Minecraft 1.16 and above. And if you're using older versions, you can use Guide API, but neither of these are required. Now to start the client install, you're going to first want to download Forge on your client, and once that's done, open your Minecraft launcher and press the installations button near the top, find your Forge profile, and click the folder icon to the right hand side. In the newly opened folder, you can find and enter the mods directory, and then you can drag and drop the downloaded mods files into the folder. And finally, to install the mod on the server, you're also going to need Forge here, so make sure your server is running the matching version of the mod that you downloaded. After that, stop the server, and then you can click FTP file access near the top left, log in, and then find and enter the mods directory, and on the next page, click upload in the top left corner. Drag and drop the downloaded mod files into the upload area, wait for this to reach 100%, and then you can use your server name at the top of the page to return to the main panel and restart the server. After joining the server, you're first just going to want to start collecting basic resources. Remember, there aren't any new ores or other resources to find in the world. This means that you have to gather enough supplies and items to create all of them, which can be easier with the JEI mod to easily learn all of the recipes. There is a wide variety of weapons, tools, and some armor pieces available in the game. For example, the Garden Scythe allows you to harvest all nearby crops in your farm, which of course saves you time from manually breaking each one. The Magic Boomerang grants users the ability to gather items and stun enemies once thrown, and there are some other items including crystal pickaxes, amethyst swords, rainbow cannons, emerald armor, and wizard wands. Similar to the weapons and tools, there are also plenty of other interesting items to craft. For example, wind force gauntlets can increase your attack speed, and similar effects can happen with other kinds too, such as speed charms giving you quicker movement. There's even a heart container that can give you more health, but remember, all of these are only craftable and you're not going to be able to find them naturally in the world. As for all of the kinds of blocks to create and build with, there are also many different types to use. Keep in mind that some of these recipes require machines to obtain specific materials, but the majority of blocks from the cyclic mod can be created with just basic resources found throughout the world. Finally, when you're at the point in your adventure to play around with the machines, you have several options. Getting started with this means you need to have blocks to gather energy, and then batteries to store it properly. Don't forget to check out the Cyclic Guidebook to learn more about these items and what you're able to do with them. Now before we get into the common issues, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell to stay up to date on all of our future videos. If you're unable to join the Minecraft server after installing the mod, make sure you've done this on both the server and the launcher, and make sure you have Forge set up on the client with your desired game version. Depending on what build of Cyclic you're using, there could be a few bugs like missing textures on blocks, items, or entities. Solving it isn't really possible since the developers have to do it themselves, but you can report the problem on their official GitHub issues page and then just use another version if it's bothering you too much to play. Cyclic is a great mod for adding new items, machines, and weapons while keeping the original game intact, like the mobs and the ores, making it the perfect addition to any Minecraft server. That's all for this one, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. 
Until next time, gamers.